So finally the OnePlus 70 has been driven. In this video let's see what are the changes in the Oxygen OS 12.1 which is finally available for the OnePlus 70 and the 70 Pro as well and also on the OnePlus 7 models and 7 Pro models. Let's get started. So finally we are having the Oxygen OS 12 on the OnePlus 70 and 7 models and also on the Pro models and it comes in the form of Oxygen OS 12.1. So let's have a look at it. Let's go to the settings now to check the update version and then go to about device and let's go to the official versions. So as you can see I am running the Oxygen OS 12.1 on this uh, OnePlus 70 of mine and we have the uh, Android version as well. So let's go to about this version so we have a great number of changes uh, from the Oxygen OS 11. So basically your phone looks more like an Oppo phone now but that's fine we are finally getting an update which we all were waiting for and it ha it comes with some welcome changes. Let's go to the system uh, and check the changes we have they have added a new smart battery engine that will pro prolong your battery life uh, which I don't think it will do uh, much of a wonder it will uh, definitely be a welcome change and they have designed the uh, uh, redesigned the icons of the lock screen as well so as you can see the phone icon the message icon has been uh, revamped so yeah that's uh, what uh, we have in the uh, i mean in the icons changes so let me go uh, again so i think i have to screenshot it no it's available so they have also revamped the page layout or less uh, something has been written i'll uh, post it in the comment section or as well as in the description so you can read it from there I'm not gonna read the whole text so also they have optimized the desktop of, of uh, icons with improved uh, textures uh, which is similar to the color OS uh, version which was present on the Chinese uh, Chinese models of the OnePlus 7 and the other OnePlus phones so uh, they have had added a new options for gamers so gamers here we are uh, we are finally getting the hyper boost end to end frame rate stabilizer which is a very good change and also they have added some voice effect and i don't know what that exactly is so dark mode now supports three uh, uh i mean three options in dark mode let me show you i have checked it out okay uh, let's go to dark mode settings and now we have the three options uh, which are enhanced medium and gentle so you can also uh, select them pre preferred on your preferences so yeah that's about the dark mode changes so let me go again uh, to about device and yeah we have the changes so they, they have added a shelf option as you can see we can access the shelf from here and we are getting this beautiful spotify uh, widget uh, as you can see it will show you a playlist once it's loaded uh, for some odd reason it's not loading now as you can see the weather has been also displayed so you can access the uh, shelf from uh, above here which is very handy in certain times as you can see and also the launcher has been changed as you can see we are getting the google now uh, google options on the when you swipe to the right side it is available to all the users and it is a 2.0 version and it will basically detect your location and change accordingly when you are at work it will go to the work mode and when you are at home it will be at the life mode and also they have added they have uh, made the gallery very similar to the oppo one now and they have added some options as you can see these are the uh, changes if it's visible and canvas aod so they have added an aod option as well but i don't think the aod is like real aod it's the uh, uh, ambient mode which we used to get on the earlier versions they have just named it as AOD and uh, given the option as power saving as you can see canvas AOD, AOD has been added which is really good these are the uh, AOD faces we are getting which is quite similar to the earlier version so nothing um, new here so as you can see they have updated the software alg algorithm yeah that's it and in the accessibility settings they have optimized the functions by grouping them something so yeah that's uh, that are the changes so the uh, update feels good and as we all were waiting for it guys don't rush uh, rush to update because it will take time for uh, to it to reach to everyone so make sure you don't update via any beta methods or anything just wait patiently for you for the update as we have been waiting for for so many days so yeah that's from my side i will just uh, 
check this update out check the battery life and uh, let's see if we are getting any improvements or not and if uh, if possible i'll just uh, post a new video on uh, the total full review of this update if you like the video give it a thumbs up and for more such videos subscribe to our channel as i'll be posting more videos on the oneplus 70 and if you're facing any issues regarding the update or anything regarding the oneplus 70 and then i'll definitely help you out in the comment section below just ping me in the comments so yeah that's it thanks for watching see you in the next one peace